Mr. President. Senator from New Mexico. Uh, Mr. President, speak in favor of uh, the Reed Baucus Shaheen Amendment to H.R. 3548, which is the Unemployment Benefits Extension Bill. Uh, I very much regret that the Majority Leader has had to file a cloture petition on a motion to proceed to even consider that issue. To my mind, this should not be a partisan issue. Uh, there ought to be agreement in this uh, body that we should proceed to extend unemployment benefits given the circumstances we face. The job market in my home state of New Mexico is dismal and there is very little indication of improvement expected in the near future. In New Mexico, our seasonal, seasonally adjusted unemployment rate is modest compared to some states. It's only 7.5 percent in August of 2009, but that's up from 7 percent in July and up from 4.3 percent a year ago. So the trend is, is definitely disturbing. The decline in the number of jobs is the worst the state has seen in more than 45 years with the speed with which we have been losing jobs. The pain of unemployment is being felt across the country. More than five million Americans have been unemployed for six months or more. Two million of these workers face the end of their unemployment benefits before the end of this year. There are up to 4,000 New Mexicans who will exhaust their unemployment benefits by December of 2009. The total number of unemployed and underemployed, including those who are working two or three part-time jobs to try to make ends meet, and those who have given up looking for work, uh, approaches 17 percent of our workforce. Uh, these aren't just numbers, obviously. These are real people who, f who face each day with the dread of not knowing how they're going to pay for the groceries they need that week, or their mortgage payment, or their rent payment. The stimulus package, uh, stimulus funding that uh, Congress passed earlier this year has helped to slow job losses and it, and it has created some new jobs, especially in education and in government services more generally. In New Mexico alone, stimulus funding is expected to create about 22,000 jobs this year. This has had a significantly positive impact on the state's unemployment picture, but it is still not enough to fully address the needs created by the economic situation we find ourselves in. Nationwide, for every job opening, there are six applicants. I was struck by the article on the front page of the New York Times this morning. Uh, entitled $13 an hour, question mark, 500 sign up, and one wins a job. This was uh, datelined uh, Burns Harbor, Indiana. It says, as soon as the job opening was posted on the, af on the afternoon of Friday, July 10, the deluge began. CR England, a nationwide trucking company, needed an administrative assistant for its uh, a bustling driver training school uh, here in Indiana. Responsibilities included data entry, assembly, assembling paperwork, and making copies. Goes on to, to quote the, uh, uh, the head of corporate recruiting, uh, says, when Stacy Ross, CR England's head of corporate recruiting, arrived at her desk, the company Salt Lake City headquarters the next Monday, uh, she found about 300 applications in the company's email box, uh, and the fa fax machine uh, had spit out an uh, uh, inch and a half thick stack of resumes uh, before running out of paper. And she, the article goes on to point out that uh, uh, the estimate is that there were 500 applications filed for this one job a $13 an hour job before uh, they took down the uh, posting of the availability of the job. So we have a very serious problem that uh, needs addressing. Uh, the extension of unemployment benefits will not ease the worry of, uh, of the unemployed. Uh, it will not eliminate the dread they have about the need to pay bills each month, but it will make things a little bit easier
those individuals. The extension will make it easier not just for the direct recipients, but for the larger economy as well. Economists tell us that for every dollar in unemployment benefits that the government provides, $2.15 is generated throughout the economy. And uh, these economic benefits are felt most immediately uh, as benefit recipients use the funds uh, almost immediately uh, to meet their daily needs. The legislation that the majority leader has at, filed the petition to proceed to uh, takes a responsible approach to providing these additional funds. The extension is paid for with an 18-month extension of the federal unemployment tax, which has traditionally been used both by Republicans and by Democratic administrations for this uh, very purpose. The extension is a responsible, well-thought-out response to the desire to the dire circumstances uh, that many Americans uh, are find themselves in today. As I said at the beginning, this should not be a partisan issue. Unemployment is affecting everyone, regardless of their political party or their ideology. I urge the Senate to uh, set aside partisan politics and to agree to the majority leader's uh, request that we proceed to this bill. Uh, so that uh, we can quickly uh, provide assistance to the thousands of Americans who depend upon these benefits uh, as they continue to search for, for jobs. Mr. President.